What's up YouTube? I'm Alpha Prime and welcome back to the channel and today I have a couple of boxes to unbox but first a little toy hunt. So personally I'm looking for a bludgeon and a nightshade. Let's see if I get lucky. Nope, no nightshade. And doesn't look like any blood. So much Dino Rider vibes with this one. So good to see turtles back on the shelves again, isn't it? And if they had a had the other three just like this one, I probably would have picked them up. There was virtually no weight to this thing in the packaging. Cheap as f And I managed to find the golden Dinobot. Come on, give us some Dino Riders. Oh, you're back. Right. If you've seen from that video, I was actually hoping to snag uh, a bludgeon, a Transformers Legacy bludgeon, and that just wasn't happening at the toy store that I checked. Absolutely zero zelch, none. And uh, it just goes to show you why I pre-order stuff, because I cannot rely on my local retailers to get the figures that I'm looking for and a couple of those retailers don't do Transformers whatsoever I look for other stuff like Marvel Legends and uh, like Gundam and anime sort of stuff that you know in the comic books store and stuff so that I look for that sort of stuff there but you see the likes of Smiths and stuff I rely on those to get my Transformers um, other than online retailers now I would like to give my money to the actual stores 
the physical stores and support my local sort of shops but they get like the first couple of waves or whatever and then that's it then they struggle to get the, the final couple of waves which is disappointing to say the least i also believe that somebody comes in and buys up some of the stuff and then sells it on ebay i'm assuming anyway let's not get in the donor let's get some boxes open and get the first box I haven't done one of these in a while. I don't expect to do many now leading up to Christmas for obvious reasons. Well, here we go. And to stop my disappointment after checking the stores and stuff, I went ahead then and ordered a bludgeon online because my store can't get or it doesn't have it. Now, the thing is, it said there was two in store uh and there wasn't so i got my bludgeon i'm happy there wasn't anything really else that i was looking for uh really in in the shop say i'm starting to get to that stage of my collection where i am a bit more picky and just pick out certain characters that we maybe haven't got before for me bludgeon was one of them so i have another box you can see it smarties um no, I haven't ordered Smarties, but I did come across something very interesting um, whenever I was going through one of the groups on Facebook, one of the Transformers groups that I am part of, and I found something that will really help out another figure that I have. Um, it's got a few little bits here. And it is a G1 Metroplex, but it was going for a really, really good price, and it has got bits that I am missing on my G1 Metroplex that I already have. So I thought I can take a punt on it. Um, this one has got is missing bits that my other one has, um, but it also has got stuff that that one doesn't have. So hopefully, out of the two of them. I can put them together and make a complete G1 Metroplex except for I still need a 6 gun or at least part of 6 gun not quite sure but I am that bit closer now to completing G1 Metroplex uh, you can see there's other wee bits and pieces and something fell on the floor but yeah it'll be good to have a complete G1 Metroplex as I say this is going very cheap I uh, was very happy to pay what it did and also it'll have some bits then if I ever have any bother or issues with my G1 Metroplex I will have a spare one to take parts off Where did that bit go? And that's it for today's episode guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope you liked the toy hunt bit at the start I could do those more often uh, but again my stores don't really get too much new stuff um but if i ever come across something that's brand new then i'll shoot a video for it but i'm actually very glad that i got bludgeon uh it looks really really cool i know he's a reuse of the tarn sort of mold but uh, it's just one of those characters that you don't get too often so this is going to be my bludgeon from now uh, i think i have the one that came out with revenge of the fallen or something like that there um but he's just so brittle and I'm scared to touch him and move him. Uh, I may move him on now because I now have a bludgeon representation in my collection and I'm very happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like and a subscribe. And until next time, stay awesome. Really going to sort out these boxes at some point.